Dear students, in this module, number 7 of paper 3, we will be covering the various major national level at macro level surveys like National Family Health Surveys, District Level Health Surveys, Annual Health Surveys, how they have been carried out, what are its objectives, what is its uh, methodology and what rounds, how many levels of uh, data that has been come out, come out from these sources and what are its usages, what are the indicators through which these sources of information have been captured through various surveys are going to be the major focus. Let us begin with National Family Health Survey. The National Family Health Survey, commonly identified as NFHS, was carried out as the principal activity of a collaborative project to strengthen the research capabilities of the Population Research Centers PRS, PRCs, in India, initiated by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare MOHW, Government of India and coordinated by the International Institute for Population Sciences IAPS, Mumbai. Interviews were conducted with a nationally representative sample of 89,777 ever married women in the age group 13 to 49 from 24 states and the national capital territory of Delhi as part of NFHS 1. The main objective of this survey was to collect reliable and up-to-date information on fertility, family planning, mortality and maternal and child health related data. Data collection was carried out in three phases from April 1992 to September 1993. The National Family Health Survey is one of the most complete surveys of its kind ever conducted in India. The households covered in the survey included 5,492 residents. The young age structure of the population highlights the momentum of the future population growth of the country. 38% of household residents are under age 15 with their reproductive years still in the future. Persons aged 60 or older constitute 8% of the population. The population sex ratio of the de jure residents is 944 females per 1000 males, which is slightly higher than the sex ratio of 927 observed as per 1991 census. The National Family Health Survey 2, NFHS 2, conducted in 1998 to 99, provides information on fertility, mortality, family planning and important aspects of nutrition, health and health care. The International Institute for Population Sciences IAPS coordinated the survey which collected information from a nationally representative sample of more than 90,000 ever married women in the age group of 15 to 49 years. The NFHS2 sample covers 99% of India's population living in all 26 states. This report is based on the survey data for 25 of the 26 states. However, since the data collection in Tripura was delayed due to local problems in the state, IAPLs also coordinated the first National Family Health Survey in 1992-93. Most of the types of information collected in NFHS 2 were also collected in the earlier survey, making it possible to identify trends over the intervening period of six and one half years. In addition, the National Family Health Survey 2 questionnaire covered a number of new or expanded topics with important policy implications such as reproductive health, women's autonomy, domestic violence, women's nutrition, anemia and salt iodization. The NFHS2 survey was carried out in two phases. Ten states were surveyed in the first phase which began in November 1998 and the remaining states except Tripura were surveyed in the second phase which began in March 1999. The field staff collected information from 91,196 households in these 25 states and interviewed 
89,199 eligible women in these households. In addition, the survey collected information on 32,393 children born in the three years preceding the survey. One health investigator on each survey team measured the height and weight of eligible women and children and took blood samples to assess the prevalence of anemia. The National Family Health Survey 3, NFHS 3, coordinated by the International Institute for Population Sciences, IAPS, under the aegis of the Government of India, was conducted in 2005-2006, as did in NFHS 1 of 1992-93 and NFHS 2 of 1998-99. National Family Health Survey 3 provides information on fertility, mortality, family planning, HIV related knowledge and important aspects of nutrition, health and health care. Unlike the earlier surveys, however, National Family Health Survey 3 interviewed men age 15 to 54 years and never married women in the age 15 to 49 years as well as ever married women and included questions on several emerging issues such as perinatal mortality, male involvement in maternal health care, adolescent reproductive health, high risk sexual behavior, family life education, safe injections, and knowledge about tuberculosis. In addition, National Family Health Survey 3 carried out blood testing for HIV to provide for the first time in India population based data on HIV prevalence. National Family Health Survey 3 collected information from a nationally representative sample of 1,9141 households, 1,24385 women in the age group 15 to 49, and 74,369 men ages 15 to 54 years. The National Family Health Survey 3 sample covers 99% of India's population living in all the 29 states. From among all the women and men interviewed nationwide, 1,2946 were tested for HIV. National Family Health Survey 3 provides estimates of HIV prevalence for adult women and men at the national level for Uttar Pradesh and for five high HIV prevalence states like Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Maharashtra, Manipur and Tamil Nadu. Additionally, Health investigators tested blood hemoglobin levels of women and men and children of age 6 to 9 months, 59 months to assess the prevalence of anemia. NFHS 3 also collected information on population and health indicators for slum and non-slum populations in 8 cities namely Chennai, Delhi, Hyderabad, Indore, Kolkata, Meerut, Mumbai and Nagpur. Field work for NFHS 3 was conducted in two phases from November 2005 to August 2006. 18 research organizations including six population research centers collected the data and conducted data entry and editing operations. The HIV testing of blood samples was done by SRL Ranbaxi, Mumbai. External quality control for the HIV testing of blood samples was done by the National AIDS Research Institute, NARI, Pune. The National Family Health Survey, NFHS 4, the fourth in the NFHS series, provides information on population, health and nutrition for India and each state and union territory. National Family Health Survey 4, for the first time, provides district level estimates for many important indicators. The contents of previous rounds of National Family Health Survey are generally retained and additional components are added from one round to another. In the fourth round, information on malaria prevention, migration in the context of HIV, abortion, violence during pregnancy, etc. have been added. The scope of clinical Anthropometric and Biochemical Testing CAB or Biomarker Component 
has been expanded to include measurement of blood pressure and blood glucose levels. National Family Health Survey for sample has been designed to provide district and higher level estimates of various indicators covered in this survey. However, estimates of indicators of sexual behavior, husband's background and woman's work, HIV and AIDS knowledge, attitudes and behaviors and domestic violence will be available at state and national level only. As in the earlier rounds, the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare Government of India designated International Institute for Population Sciences Mumbai as the nodal agency to conduct National Family Health Survey 4. The main objective of each successive round of the National Family Health Survey has been to provide essential data on health and family welfare and emerging issues in this area. NFHS 4 data will be useful in setting benchmarks and examining the progress in health sector the country has made over time. Besides providing evidence for the effectiveness of the ongoing programs, the data from National Family Health Survey 4 help in identifying need for new programs with area-specific focus. Four survey schedules, households, women's, men's and biomarker were canvassed in local language using Computer Assisted Personal Interviewing CAPI. In the household schedule, information was collected on all usual members of the household and visitors who stayed in the household the previous night as well as socio-economic characteristics of the household, water and sanitation, health insurance, number of deaths in the household in the three years preceding the survey, etc. were covered. Information on the women's characteristics, marriage, fertility, children's immunizations, child care, nutrition, contraception, reproductive health, sexual behavior, HIV AIDS, domestic violence, etc. was canvassed in the women's schedule. The man's schedule covered the man's characteristics, marriage, his number of children, contraception, fertility preferences, nutrition, sexual behavior, attitudes towards gender roles, HIV, AIDS, etc. were main focus. The myomarker schedule covered measurements of height, weight and hemoglobin levels for children, measurements of height, weight, hemoglobin levels, blood pressure and random blood glucose levels for women aged 15 to 49 years and men aged 15 to 54 years. In addition, women and men were requested to provide a few drops of blood from a finger prick for laboratory testing for HIV. This fact sheet provides information on key indicators and trends for India. The figures of NFHS 4 and that of earlier rounds may not be strictly comparable due to differences in sample size and NFHS 4 will be a benchmark for future surveys. NFHS 4 fieldwork for India was conducted from 20th January 2015 to 4th December 2016 by 14 field agencies and gathered information from 6,1509 households, 6,99,686 women and 1,3525 men. The next major round of aspect for conducting a major survey was focusing on Reproductive and Child Health Project Rapid Household Survey Phase 1 and 2 that's DLHS 1 1998 to 1999. For the assessment of district level reproductive and child health indicators, the Government of India initiated district level household surveys. The International Institute for Population Sciences was designated as the nodal agency for carrying out these surveys. Accordingly, the household surveys in all the districts of India were carried out in two phases. The first round of the surveys was conducted in the year 1998 in 252 districts from 25 states and 5 union territories excluding Dadar, Nagra, Haveli and Lakshadweep islands of the country. The second phase of the survey was conducted in 1999 in all the remaining 255 districts from 25 states and 5 union territories excluding Delhi and Chandigarh. The focus of the survey was on the coverage of antenatal care and immunization services 
the extent of safe deliveries, the contraceptive prevalence and unmet need for family planning, the awareness about RTI or STI and HIV or AIDS and the utilization of government health services. The present report refers to the data collected in both the phases of survey. The salient findings of the survey are presented below. The survey was carried out in 504 districts of India which existed in 1995. A total of 5,29,817 households were contacted during the survey. From these surveyed households, 4,74,463 eligible women, currently married women in the age group 15 to 44 years who are usual residents of the surveyed households and 1,98,566 men in the age group 20 to 54 were interviewed. Among the eligible women, 48% were younger than 30 years and 60% women had started their married life when they were less than 18 years. 44% of the eligible women were illiterate and 16% had 10 or more years of education. The literacy rate among the households of eligible women was 69%. RHS gives the estimate of the completed fertility in India as measured by mean children ever born to women aged 40 to 44 as 4.54 children. Of these 4.54 ever born children, 3.83 children were alive at the time of survey. Reproductive and Child Health District Level Household Survey 2002-2004 which is called usually as DLHS2. In order to monitor and evaluate reproductive and child health program launched during 1996-97, the need of database at district level was felt by the Government of India. For this district level household survey DLHS was undertaken first in 1998-99 in 500 four districts and again in 2002 to 2004 in 593 districts. The International Institute for Population Sciences was designated as the nodal agency for carrying out the surveys. For the purpose of conducting the survey, all the states and unit territories were grouped into 16 regions. A total of 12 research centers organizations including population research centers were involved in conducting the survey in 16 regions. The field work for RCH round 2 was done in two phases. The survey for phase 1 of the DLHS covering 295 districts of the India were covered from March 2002 to December 2002 except in some districts of Bihar and Jharkhand where the field work got extended to 2003. The survey for phase 2 covering the remaining 298 districts of the country carried out from January 2004 to October 2004 except in some districts of Bihar and Jharkhand where the field work continued also in 2005. The focus of the survey was on coverage on antenatal care and immunization services, extent of safe deliveries, contraceptive prevalence rate and unmet need for family planning, awareness about RTI, STI and HIV AIDS and utilization of government health services and users satisfaction. The salient findings of the survey are presented for both the phases together the data was collected from 6,20,107 households in India. From these households 5,07,622 eligible women usual resident or visitors who stayed in the sample households the night before the interview, currently married aged 15 to 44 years whose marriage was consummated and 3,30,820 husbands of eligible women were interviewed. The district level household and facility survey 2007-2008 that is DLHS3. In order to monitor the ongoing health and family welfare programs, the need for a database at the district level was felt by the Government of India. For this, the district level household and facility survey DLHS was undertaken. The present district level household and facility survey of DLHS 3 is the third in this series preceded by DLHS 1 in 1998-99 and DLHS 2 in 2002 to 2004. DLHS-3 is one of the largest ever demographic and health surveys carried out in India with a sample size of about 7 lakh households covering all districts of the country. DLHS-3 like other two earlier rounds is designed 
to provide estimates on maternal and child health, family planning and other reproductive health indicators. In addition, DLHS3 provides information related to the programs under the National Rural Health Mission NRHM. Unlike other two rounds in which currently married women aged 15 to 44 years were interviewed, DLHS3 interviewed ever married women aged 15 to 49 years in DLHS3 along with ever married women, unmarried women aged 15 to 24 years are also included as respondents of the survey. DLHS3 adopted a multi-stage stratified probability proportion proportion to size sampling design. The International Institute for Population Sciences IAPS was designated as a nodal agency for carrying out the survey. Bilingual questionnaires in local language and in English pertaining to household, ever married woman aged 15 to 49 years, unmarried woman aged 15 to 24 years were used. Separate questionnaires for village and health facilities were used to gather required information. In the household questionnaire, information on all members of the household and socioeconomic characteristics of the household, assets possessed, number of marriages and deaths in the household since January 2004, etc. were also collected. The ever married woman's questionnaire contained information on women's characteristics, maternal care, immunization and child care, contraception and fertility preferences, reproductive health including knowledge about RTI, STI and HIV AIDS. The unmarried woman's questionnaire contained information on women's characteristics, family life education, awareness about reproductive health and contraception and HIV or AIDS etc. The village questionnaire consists of information on availability of health, education and other facilities in the village and whether the facilities are accessible throughout the year. The health facility questionnaires contained information on human resources, infrastructure and services. For the first time, population linked facility survey was conducted in DLHS 3. At the district level, all community health centers and district hospitals were covered. Further, all sub-centers and primary health centers which were expected to serve the population of the selected primary sampling unit PSUs were also covered. Field work was conducted during December 2007, December 2008 and gathering information from 7,20,320 households from 601 districts across India. The data was collected from 7,20,320 households from 34 states and union territories of India excluding the state of Nagaland. From these households, 6,43,944 ever married women aged 15 to 49 years and 1,66,260 unmarried women aged 15 to 24 years were interviewed. The, for the purpose of comparison of indicators given in the fact sheet, we have also provided indicators based on currently married women aged 15 to 44 in selected tables. The district level household and facility survey 2012-2013 is uh, usually referred to as DLHS4. Three rounds of district level household and facility survey have been undertaken by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare Government of India in the past round 1 in 98-99, round 2 in 2002-2004 and round 3 in 2007-2008 with the main objective to provide reproductive and child health related database at district level in India. The data from these surveys have been useful in setting the benchmarks and examining the progress the country has made after the implementation of RCH program. In addition, the evidence generated by these sources have also been useful for the monitoring and evaluation of ongoing programs and planning of suitable strategies by the central and state governments. In view of the complexion of six years of National Rural Health Mission, in view of the completion of six years of National Rural Health Mission 2005 to 2012, there was a felt need to focus on the achievements and improvements so far. The Ministry of Health and Family Welfare Government of India therefore initiated the process of conducting DLHS 4 during 2012 to 2013 and has designated the International Institute for Population Sciences IAPS as the nodal agency to carry out the survey. Bilingual questionnaires in the local language and English pertaining to households and ever married women aged 15 to 49 years were canvassed by using computer assisted personnel interviewing. In DLHS 4, 
clinical, anthropometric and biochemical tests were also carried out in all selected households. The village and health facilities were canvassed using printed questionnaires. In the household questionnaire, information on all members of the household and socio-economic characteristics of the household, assets processed, number of marriages and deaths in the household since January 2008, etc. were collected. The ever married women's questionnaire contained information on women's characteristics, maternal care, immunization and child care, contraception and fertility preferences, reproductive health including knowledge about HIV or AIDS. The village questionnaire contained information on availability of health, education and other facilities in the village and whether the facilities are accessible throughout the year. The health facility questionnaire contained information on human resources, infrastructure and services. For the first time, a population-linked facility survey has been conducted in DLHS4. All community health centers, district hospitals and subdivisional hospitals were covered. Further, all sub-health sub centers and primary health centers which serve the population of selected PSUs were also covered. Field work in Maharashtra was conducted during January to October 2013, gathering information from 52,883 households, 45,690 ever married women and also from 2,165 health facilities. The other major source of uh, survey was on annual health surveys usually called as AHS. The annual health survey was conceived during a meeting of the National Commission of Population held in 2005 under the chairmanship of the Prime Minister. The objective was to monitor the performance and outcome of various health interventions of the government including those under National Rural Health Mission NRHM at close intervals through these benchmark indicators. The AHS has been made an integral part of the NRHM Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. Realizing the need for preparing a comprehensive district health profile on the basis of key parameters in a community, the annual health surveys has been designed to generate benchmarks of vital health indicators at the district level. These include prevalence of disabilities, injuries, acute and chronic illnesses, access to health care for identified morbidities and access to maternal, child health and family planning services. The annual health survey covers 284 districts as per 2001 census of the 8 empowered action group states. Bihar, Jharkhand, Uttar Pradesh, Uttarakhand and Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Odisha and Rajasthan and Assam. These nine high focus states with relatively high fertility and mortality account for about 48% of the total population in the country. The annual health survey provides key indicators on reproductive and child health at the district level, 8 EAG states and Assam. It core health and vital indicators mainly focuses through various measurements like crude birth rate, crude death rate, overall sex ratio, child sex ratio, fertility and family planning, maternal health, child health, maternal morbidity, child morbidity, mortality, breastfeeding and supplementation, acute and chronic illnesses, personal habits and awareness, disability and injury, birth registration. The major objectives of annual health surveys are mainly to yield a comprehensive, representative and reliable data sets on core vital indicators including composite ones like infant, maternal mortal, infant mortality, maternal mortality rate and total fertility rate along with their covariates, process and outcome indicators at the district level and maps changes therein on an annual basis. These image bars would help in better and holistic understanding and timely monitoring of various determinants on well-being and health of population, particularly in the areas of reproductive and child health. The issue is why annual health survey? Because in this, it's important to because of the situation like 50% of country's population it covers, 60% of births it has covered, 62% of maternal deaths, 71% of infant deaths, 72% of under 5 deaths, it clearly enables us to understand the importance of annual health surveys. It enables direct monitoring of UN Millennium Development Goals on child mortality and maternal health at district level. It helps in identifying high focus districts meriting special attention in view of stock intradistrict variations in these states 
it provides critical inputs to assess the milestones of various interventions including national rural health mission and pave the way for evidence based planning it covered all the 284 districts of 8 ag states and assam sample units mainly covers 20694 statistically selected sample units census enumeration blocks in urban areas and villages or a part thereof in rural areas sample identification work to uniquely identify the sample units on ground form up its boundaries demarcate the localities and prepare a national map of the sample unit which was done by the staff of ORGI sample units per districts constitutes 73 sample population about 20.94 million whereas it was 20.1 million as per baseline survey it is the largest sample survey in the world sample population per district was about 73000 whereas it was 71000 as per baseline survey sample households 4.32 million households whereas it was 4.1 millions as per baseline survey the sample households per district constitutes about 15.2000 whereas it was 14.5000 as per baseline survey the conduct of field work shows the hybrid approach wherein field work has been outsourced and supervision is being done by the ORGI the primary level of aggregation was a unit of uh, districts and the annual you know is the periodicity for such surveys the major indicators under uh, under annual health surveys are in all 161 indicators are available from annual health surveys which covers fertility with 13 indicators sex ratio 3 indicators marriage 5 indicators mortality 7 indicators mother and child care 63 antenatal care 11 postnatal care 5 yojana jsy 3 immunization 8 supplements 2 birth weight 2 birth registration 2 supplementation 12 awareness in mothers 4 delivery care 8 janne suraksha vitamin and iron childhood diseases 6 breastfeeding abortion and practices which constitute 6 and 15 respectively disability 1 unit personal habits adults 4 household characteristics 13 family planning morbidity 19 issues and housing and others which constitutes 12 and five core themes covered the presentation focuses on results pertaining to five core themes that is in the area of, of total fertility rate family planning both current usage and total unmet need antenatal care delivery and postnatal care immunization and breastfeeding practices overall we can conclude by stating that the national family health surveys and district level health surveys and annual health surveys constitute major sources of data for having a, on various demographic and health aspects of the country and not only at a country level but also at a state and district at various districts level and also to establish a trend in its focus over a period of time various rounds of these surveys have been carried out and these sources constitutes a major source of official statistics in the areas of health and population characteristics which are highly useful for not only for planning but also for policy making and program implementation to such an extent to achieve the desired results in the performance of uh, the demographic aspects and also in the areas of various aspects of health such a need through various sources of data are very very vital for the country